Hi everyone, this is PK So, and I would like to share with you a summary of the Singapore real estate market for the second quarter of 2021. The Phase 2 heightened alert restrictions from 16 of May to 13 June 2021 had limited visits to show galleries. These restrictions slowed down sales by 12.8%. An estimated 3,046 units were sold in Q2 of 2021, compared to 3,493 units in the previous quarter. There are some interesting numbers in the CCR. Preliminary numbers put the transacted volume in the core central region at 841 units in Q2 2021. This is 23.5% higher than Q1 2021. This is also the highest quarterly sales in the CCR since year 2010. The second quarter saw more launches, like Grange 1866, Irwell Hill Residences, One Burnham, Park Nova, and Les Masons Nassim in the CCR, compared to just two in Q1 2021. Ultra-high net worth individuals snapped up units in Park Nova and Les Masons Nassim at record prices. The biggest penthouse of 5,899 square feet at Park Nova was sold for 34.438 million or 5,838 PSF, while a 6,577 square feet four bedroom unit at Les Masons Nassim was sold at 5,930 PSF or $39 million. Both projects are developed by Shun TAC Holdings. How about the resale market in Q2? Well, after three quarters of increases in transaction volume since Q2 2020, the increase in transaction volume in the resale market slowed in Q2 2021. This is mainly dragged by Phase 2 heightened alert, which limited the number of viewings per day. Buyers also seem to be resisting paying higher prices for a resale property in Q2 2021, and this capped the increase in prices. However, as I am always on the ground meeting sellers and buyers, I am seeing sellers who are looking asking much higher prices, with less reference to past transactions done in the same project or vicinity. Let's also take a look at the buyer's profiles in Q2 2021. 4-5.7% to of the transactions in Q2 2021 are priced below $1.5 million. 23.2% are between $1.5 million to $2 million, and 26.4% are above $2 million. 81% of the purchasers are Singapore citizens. PR and foreigners make up 14.8% and 3.7% respectively. More Singaporeans bought homes priced between $1.5 million and $2 million in Q2 2021, probably after cashing out their existing HDB flats. As for the executive condominium market, Provence Residence was launched in May 2021 and sold more than 50% of the units on the first weekend of launch. Considering that there was already an earlier launch a year ago in the same area, the fact that Provence Residence sold more than half of its units on the first day of launch is considered very impressive. An estimated 509 new EC units were sold in Q2 2021 versus 677 new EC units sold in Q1 2021. Now, how is the market outlook going forward? Based on advanced estimates, Singapore's economy grew 14.3% on a year-on-year -year basis in Q2 2021. This is supported by strong growth in the manufacturing sector. According to economists, the Monetary Authority of Singapore may adjust upwards its growth forecast of 4% to 6% in August, thus putting the economy to recover to 2019 pre-pandemic levels. Several highly anticipated launches, such as the Water Gardens at Canberra, Passer Riss 8 and Clint Cairnhill are planned for the month of July. The return to Phase 2 heightened alert, however, saw a change to these plans. The Water Gardens and Clint Cairnhill will be delayed pending further government announcement. All in all, it was an excellent first half for the new sale market. Total volume is estimated to be 6,530 units, which is the strongest first half since 2013. This puts the new sale market on track to set a record of 10,000 to 12,000 units in 2021. This could be the highest volume since 2013 and could set prices to rise by as much as 8% for the whole year. I know some buyers are starting to get overwhelmed by the dynamism of both the resale and new sales market. If you feel that way, it is important for you to reach out and gather more insights.
I have explained in depth to many of my YouTube audience who had reached out. I have presented different case studies of price performance of old freehold versus new freehold condos located side by side, which they find surprising. I have also presented how a 99 years condo located right beside a triple nine years condo performed over the years. I have also identified some good buys in both the resale and new launches for both home seekers and investors. Do bear in mind, what seems cheap may not be good, and what seems high may go even higher. There are a lot of market variables at play. Please reach out at 9697-1131 and we can meet up online for a discussion. Thank you for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Singapore Property TV, and like this video. I look forward to meeting you soon.